Hi everybody, I'm Mahin, and this time I'm coming to you from Tucson. Uh, we are about to have a whole weekend full of learning with Artemis Marat here, and we are very excited about this. I don't think we've had you in Arizona for a very, very long time. So uh, if for those of you who may not know, uh, Artemis has been, for decades, been a champion of Turkish style dance, both Oriental and Roma style dance, and has been sharing that with the belly dance world. It's uh, sometimes very heavily Egyptian, so this is a nice, a nice addition and, and, uh, and adding diversity to our dance world. So uh, we have the rare opportunity to speak with her about something that is very near and dear to her heart, an aroma dance. So you have been, um, you've been uh, doing a lot of work, both uh, the documenting it and performing and teaching and doing scholarly work on Roma style dance. So tell me, you know, why this is important to you and, and the things that you've been doing. Well, first of all, Thank you for inviting me, and thank you for the interview, and thank you for asking really good questions. It's important, mm -hmm. and um, I believe in trying to be as culturally accurate as possible, and I think that in order to honor the cultures that have gifted us these art forms, we, we owe it to them to do our very best to represent them as, as, as well as we can and to learn about their culture. Because if you just try to throw on a costume and fake it, it's, it's not respectful to the cultures and uh, it's offensive to Romani people as well. Yeah, I think that uh, a lot of dancers come in and without a lot of base knowledge they uh, tend to have that romanticized gypsy notion of Roma mm -hmm. culture, which is, I think, really a, a, a trap and, and an insult. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I think it's getting better. When I first started dancing and uh, started studying about this dance form, there were all kinds of, of uh, fantasy dances that people were doing. Oh, this is my gypsy dance. And... and um, they were just making it up. And, and so, I mean, you would never throw on a tutu and call yourself a ballerina, right? Very true. Everybody knows that would be wrong. But because to so many uh, non Roma people, uh, especially in America where we don't have a lot of uh, direct experience with mm -hmm. Romani people, um, a lot of Americans don't even realize that they're a real, real ethnic group. And they're all over the world, and they have their own dances, and they have their own culture, and so they felt that well, it was okay to make things up, and and it, it is okay if if what you're doing is your fantasy dance, and you tell everybody this is my fantasy dance, and it's inspired by my notion of. Roma people, mm -hmm. then you can do anything you want because it's your own fantasy uh, uh, creation. Right, truth and labeling. Exactly. <laughs> so, That's yeah. what it's all about. Right, art is creativity. We have license to do that. We just don't get to call things what they're not. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, if we didn't create, mm -hmm. we'd still be banging on rocks and caves and calling it music, right? Very true. So you get to create, but, but if you're... In, you know, truth and labeling. And the other thing is if you're interested in, um, in Romani dance, then why not study it? It's so amazing and it's, so, it, it's, it's such a beautiful art form and it's very diverse because of course the Roma people are all over the world right. and they have their own dances from each of, their, of the countries where they live. Um, then why not study the real deal? And even then, if you want to fuse that with your fantasy dance, fusion is a valid art form. Or if you want to fuse, let's say, Arabic styling with Turkish styling, then why not? Or if you want to fuse uh, Spanish styling with uh, Middle Eastern styling, that's fine too. Just call it what it is. Mm -hmm. And fusion is no excuse to just fake it. No. No. If you're going to really be a good fusion artist, you need to master the genres that you're blending so that they're, they're cohesive and aesthetically 
pleasing. Yes, I think that's something that we've definitely had a lot more people speaking up about and yeah. stepping up with uh, in the last, I'd say, I don't know, say five five years or so, there's been a lot of talk about integrity and fusion, which has been a good thing for our community. So mm-hmm. um, in addition to that, you know, it was kind of controversial, with people toss around the word gypsy, and some people say, yes, it's offensive and we need to abandon it, and some people say that, no, it's not offensive, again, it has been used amongst the people themselves. So what is your take on that? What's your experience with that? I've heard both. Okay. I've heard both. And and the the problem with the G word <laughs> is that um, it's tied to so many stereotypes. Thieving gypsy, dirty gypsy, I got gypped, mm-hmm. uh, gypsy moth, gypsy cab drivers, gypsy uh, chorus line dancers who are... Uh, not in the union and that type of thing, um, and they're also the the other side of those fantasies, which is that they're always singing and dancing and having a wonderful time, mm-hmm. which doesn't speak to the fact that there's horrendous discrimination being committed against them as we speak. So, um, uh, so the G word is controversial, and. They're a tribal group. It's a lot like in uh, American culture. Uh, we were calling the Native Americans Indians. Mm-hmm. Out of the right? misunderstanding about where Columbus landed. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, it yeah. wasn't it India. Yeah, it's an uninformed, it's an uninformed, uh, uninformed phrase. <laughs> so. Exactly, exactly. And so then people were saying, well, no, let's call us Native Americans. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the Native American people were saying, well, wait a minute, we're not all the same. We're tribal culture, and so call us by our t- tribal names. So that's what is happening in the Romani community mm-hmm. now, which is that most, but not all, would rather be called um, Roma or Romani than, than gypsies. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Uh, they're taking it to that other level where they're saying, call me Calderash or call me Sinti, uh, call me by Manush, call me by my ethnic tribal name. Um, and But all that being said, I know from my people who said, well, I don't care if you call me Gypsy. I don't care. It doesn't bother me a bit. So I think our, the lesson for all of us mm-hmm. is is that that you have to do what um, uh, do your homework and uh, do what you feel is right and what I feel is right is to to uh, call them Romani or or Domari because the 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 G people mm-hmm. the Romani people came in a series of migrations from northwestern India and the ones who went across are generally referred to as Romani. The ones who went uh, down and across North Africa are Domari. So um, that would be Gawazis, for example. Mm-hmm. Shikat uh, is another example of that. So so they're not really even all Romani, even if they go for the, the term Romani. It's complicated. Yes, and this is just another example in the Middle Eastern dance slash belly dance world of how as soon as you open one little door to explore something that there is just a vast amount to be learned. And, yes. And, uh, and yes. this is perpetual students, which is wonderful because yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful and I know a lot of dancers are grateful that people like you are doing all of the deep scholarship that help mm-hmm. and that makes all this accessible to us. Mm-hmm. But it's up to us as dancers to go and make our effort to go find it and learn it and understand it and apply it. So that is why we are so happy that you are here in Tucson. Thank and we're going to thank Kat and Barbara for hosting this. Yes. Because this is not my hosting job here. I'm yes. just doing the benefit of coming as a student. So thank you so much. And I'm really looking forward to today and tomorrow. And we're just super honored to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the interview, and too bad you're not here to learn with us. So, you have to <laughs> check her already schedule here on her website. What is your website? I'll give that It out, is www.serpentine.org. 
and check her page for where she's going to be teaching because if she's coming near you, you definitely want to take advantage of this. So for all of you out there who aren't familiar with the Daily Belly Dance Quickies, take a look in the box down there. Most days are very short. This one's longer and it could have been a whole lot longer, but we've got dancing to do today. So you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.